For this demo, we've deployed several instances using CDK, one being an EMQX broker instance and several load generators. We'll use this to create two publishers, one using a standard TCP connection and one using a quick connection, and then we'll change the network such that the TCP connection will disconnect while the quick connection will continue going on in publishing. We'll also have two subscribers to show receiving those messages. Over here, we have our load generator instance. First, I create the standard TCP publisher. Then, I create the quick publisher. Then, I create the TCP subscription and the quick subscription. We see that both are receiving messages. We also see that we can monitor that these are all routing through this IP address. We can look here on the EMQX dashboard and see that messages are coming through. We have four connections and two subscriptions with the two publishers publishing. If we go to the second, if we go back here to our load generator and we're going to rebind the IP address from 192.168.0.200 to 192.168.0.203. We see here where we're monitoring the IP address where all the traffic is being routed through that it is now changed to .203. And if we return here, we'll see that the TCP connection disconnected whereas the quick connection continued onwards. And that is reflected here as well. Now, if we rebind to the original IP address, which we now see happened here as well, we see that quick is still continuing to publish messages, and messages are continue, uh, continuing to be received through the subscriber. This demonstrates how powerful Quick is in comparison to a standard TCP connection, which makes it ideal for applications such as automotive, where the connections can be unpredictable.